Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Mac Murdoch, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over the brand new ZWO ASI Air Plus and how it compares to the previous generation, the ASI Air Pro, to figure out if upgrading is something worth considering. We're gonna be going over its top features, all the things it comes with, and a good basic overview of what it can do for you. But first, before we jump into the juicy details of this magnificent piece of hardware, I invite you all to smash that like button. Smashing the like button is known to relieve stress, release endorphins, and improve your day. And who doesn't want that? Here, try it with me. All right, so let's go over the basics of the ASI Air series. The ASI Air is a power distributor and a wireless control box for your telescope rig. It will polar align your mount, power your focuser, dew strap, camera, filter wheel, and all the other gadgets and gizmos that you have mounted as well. In addition to powering your gear, the ASI Air also comes with its own app that lets you wirelessly control your whole imaging session from your smartphone or tablet. That means that you don't need to lug around a computer or power for that computer. And let's be honest, most of us have been in the field when Windows conveniently decides to up now you can just bust out your phone or tablet and you're ready to rock. Provided there's clear skies, of course. The ASI Air cuts down on all the different programs that are out there and has everything you need in one simple to use app. The ASI Air could pretty much do everything. It can show you a pre-stretch preview of your image, refocus itself throughout the night if you've got a ZWO electronic focuser and help you get great polar alignment monitor your auto guiding, shoot both long exposures for your deep space targets, and take fast exposures or videos for your lunar and planetary photography. I think my personal favorite feature is that you can have it plate solved. For those that don't know what plate solving is, it's when your camera takes a picture of wherever it's pointing in the sky, uses its database to triangulate the stars to figure out exactly where your telescope is pointing, and then uses that information to accurately find and center on your target in the night sky. It makes finding and framing your object so much easier, especially at longer focal lengths. Over here, we've got the ASI Air Pro, and here we've got the brand new ASI Air Plus. As you can see, they're both similar in size, shape, and color. The Plus is thinner, but ever so slightly wider on its long end. And they both pretty much weigh the same, at least not enough where I can tell the difference. If you look on one side, they've got two USB 3 ports, two USB 2 ports, and an Ethernet port. The USB 2 ports are for things like your filter wheel or focuser that don't demand much data transfer. The Ethernet port is great if you want to run a cable into your in-home router to communicate with your ASI Air. Over on this side, you have your four 12-volt power distribution outlets that powers your camera, mount, filter wheel, focuser, and whatever else you want. One of the newest features on the Plus that isn't on the Pro are these lights right here that indicate if a port is being used. I've personally been in situations where you're trying to figure out why something won't connect and communicate with your computer just to find out that the cable wasn't fully connected. So those indicators help you target the problems right away. And just to the right of those, there's a 3.5 millimeter DSLR shutter trigger port that allows you to use your ASI Air to control and trigger your DSLR camera, which makes it perfect for those just starting out and using their cameras that they have at home. On the other side, you've got your basic quarter inch thread to mount to dovetails and whatever else you need. Given, it's already got this handy dovetail shoe attached to the bottom already that's ready for mounting. That being said, if you wanted to stand it up on another axis, you can easily unscrew these bolts and mount the shoe to this side. Above that, you've got two ports. First, you have the standard micro SD card slot for added storage. Two big upgrades on this new Plus version is that one, you get 20 gigs of internal storage, which is great for deep space targets, but it might fill up quickly depending on how big your files are. The ASI Air Pro does not come with this luxury. And the second big thing is this PC port. Now you can use your USB 3 Type-C cable and plug the ASI Air directly into your computer. It will show up like a normal flash drive and you can drag all your files over to your computer using that fast USB Type-C transfer speed. Finally, on the last side, we have our biggest upgrade of the ASI Air series. In the previous model, the Wi-Fi output was on the inside of the metal box, which really blocked the Wi-Fi range and made it suffer. You guys sent your suggestions to ZWO and they listened. 
Now on this new version, the antenna is on the outside, which boosts the Wi-Fi range up to 20 meters or around 65 feet versus the ASI Air Pro, which I'd say was roughly around six or seven meters. And you have your basic power input, reset switch, and an on and off. In the box, you obviously get your ASI Air Plus, your standard 5.5 by 2.1 power cables, both in half a meter and one meter long for powering your gear, and an extension cable, a USB 3 cable, and finally, all the quick start and user manuals. So, is the ASI Air Plus worth it? Here's my personal opinion, but it will change differently for everyone. If you image remotely and you're not at home and you take your gear on the road, that extra Wi-Fi range will really come in handy and save you the hassle of not always having to be near your scope. If you don't have an ASI Air yet, you might as well go with the next best one and pick the ASI Air Plus to make your imaging sessions so much easier. Having those indicator lights, PC port, extended Wi-Fi signal, and internal storage is definitely a plus pun intended, and are definitely useful. With both ASI Airs, you can connect via ethernet, run yourself a hot bath, light some candles, and manage your whole imaging session from the comfort of your own home from your phone or tablet. Anyways, that about wraps up this video. If you're looking to learn more about the ASI Air Plus, we've got it linked down in the description for you. Let us know what you think of the ASI Air Plus in the comments down below. What are some features that you would like to see in the next version? Also, if you haven't smashed that like button, you're definitely missing out on one of the major wonders of the world. And with that said, my name is Mac Murdoch, and thanks for watching. Clear skies.